Uh, hey everyone, Casualties of Gaming here, coming at you today with another video. So today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be giving you some instructions on how to get the PC port for uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX HD. So a couple of things before we get started. So you need the original port, which I already have up on this archive.org's um, website. Uh, it is probably the easiest and most legal way to obtain it there are a few other ways uh which i'm not going to get into um it, it's the internet they're there if it, th this is definitely what i would say the most comfortable way to grab this thing and we're just going to leave it at that um so other than this you're going to need a um some type of uh file extractor 7zip is the best and well best is subjective but probably the uh the one most common. Uh you probably already have one on your computer if you're looking up this video though. But if you don't for some reason just look up 7zip and grab it it's not a big deal. Uh and then you're going to need to get on GitHub to get the uh a patch and one other program now um i'm gonna put the links for everything that i'm using in the description so go ahead and uh see to those but as far as getting on archive.org uh click the link in the description uh go ahead and go to the zipped file and hit download and uh you'll basically just wait for it to do its thing it shouldn't take very long a few seconds okay so we got that so from there um there is a few things that you'll need well one thing in particular that this particular page will get you uh the the github link that i'm going to give you is going to be this one i think it'll be easier and then you can migrate to what else you'll need um so you'll need this dot net uh the uh 6.0 point 428 is just the one that's linked here um i think i already have this on here actually um but i'm not entirely sure to be honest um I'm wait for this thing to do its thing this shouldn't take more than a few seconds so uh go ahead and get uh, migrate to your downloads folder somehow so uh we're going to go ahead and take this, put it on the desktop, make this really easy. Uh, go down, hit extract. Um, you can change it to the desktop right there if you want um, with your extractor. Otherwise, it will do this. Drag and drop to your desktop. Get out of there. Uh, you can go ahead and delete your, um, your zipped version, lest you get a collection of zipped folders like I do on my PC. Okay, so after you're done with the extracting of Link's Awakening, go ahead and pull this up. You'll get a screen, installer screen like this. Just hit install, hit yes. It'll take a minute to do its thing. Okay, so once that's done, you can kind of ignore this. You won't need to do anything else with it. Uh, we're gonna minimize that. We are going to go back here. So one of the last things you're going to need to do uh, before you can get this thing up, well, actually, you could actually start the port right now if you wanted to. Uh, you will have the original version, which will have a bunch of bugs. Um, so the guy that's doing this on GitHub, this big head SMZ, has been updating this a lot, as you can see. Uh, the last update at the time of filming, which is September 19th, 2025, was three days ago. Uh, version 1.2.8. Um, if I go down here, um, oh, he released two versions in the same day. And then a version before that. And version the day before that. You get the idea. So, um, for simplicity's sake, we are going to go ahead and download the most recent one. So, that's done. Uh, if you get this little blue mark when you're downloading it, uh, go ahead and just allow download. If you don't do that, and then you try to go into your downloads folder and open it, it will tell you that this version does not work on your computer, at least on Windows. Um, okay, so go ahead and go to your downloads. So uh, this part is kind of important. Go ahead and bring up your 
port folder. So again, if you want to, you can go ahead and run it right now. I wouldn't suggest that. What you want to do is you want to take your launcher and you want to drag and drop it. If you don't do this part, your launcher, the patcher is just going to freak out and tell you it can't find the file. So now everything is nice and neat and tidy. Uh, go ahead and hit the patcher. Um, it may, if you have a firewall up or anything, it may tell you to go fuck off. Just tell it to fuck off. And then you're going to hit patch. It's going to ask you if you want to do this. Of course you do. Uh, otherwise, why in the hell would you be here? Um, we're waiting for... Okay, you're waiting for this message to pop up afterwards. You're going to hit OK. You're going to hit exit. Uh, it's your choice whether you want to leave the patcher in the file at this point. Um, I just delete it. It's unnecessary. And then... You've got your PC port of Link's Awakening up and running. Um, I've already got a save file here. Um, you can go down to settings. Uh, you can play around with a few things. Um, the only thing I had to play around with was this. I believe the UI scale was at like four. Um, you can play around with that however you might want to see fit as far as that goes. Uh, I like to bring it up. Um, because when you go into houses and stuff, it, 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 it's kind of like how big your box is, but you can play around with it. Uh, I got everything else on. I've got the scale, the game scaled up to 10. Uh, I imagine that might be like, you know, different depending on, um, what your setup is. It's a pretty, uh, pretty, uh, I have disabled censorship. Okay. Let's turn that on. Uh, I've not really messed with any of this stuff. Um, oh. Disable helper messages. I'm going to leave those on. Um, nothing is missable. Um. Okay. So, modifiers. What's here? Extra enemy HP. No damage launch. No heart drops. Uh, okay, so most of these seem to be for masochists as far as damage multiplier and all that stuff goes. I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm go ahead and back and launch. And as you can see, we have our PC port. I just got out of the, uh, the house, so I haven't done anything uh, to speak of. I think this is cool, as I always do. Um, the controls are really, really smooth compared to the old Game Boy version. I I will be playing this to completion. Um, eh, completion. Um, I can't wait to, to get further into this. Anyway, that's the port. I can't really show you anything else because I'm not too far into it. It is what it is. Um, I've been Casualties of Gaming. Uh, if you like stuff like this or like learning about ROM hacks or maybe emulation devices or that sort of thing, the kind of thing that might get me in trouble with certain companies one day. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and all of that stupid shit that YouTubers like myself um, like to ask you guys to do. And uh, I will be seeing you on the next video.